welcome back to my channel. Pardon the hair, but as usual, I'm doing a makeup video before I go to work because that's when I have time. <laughs> so I'm actually going to pull my hair back because I'm going to have to do my face to go to work. But I have something exciting, at least for me. You guys know that once I, when I got that um, Hank and Henry mascara, I've been raving about since I got it in BoxyCharm. And then I got the eyeliner and I loved it, took it on vacation and I wasn't careful with it and the lid popped off and it dried completely out. <coughs> so I've been wanting to get the eyeliner and another mascara because it's the only mascara that I want to use. <laughs> so I went on their website and they just happened to be having a sale. And I was like, yay! <laughs> so pick me up some stuff. So something interesting is, I don't know if it's that interesting. Uh, Hank and Henry has another brand that they sell on their website and it's called um, The Makeup Institute. And as a whole, they were doing a mystery box thing. And so I decided to get a mystery box. It was $67. And it was supposed to have, I believe, seven items in it. But I also spent $30 and got myself two of the eye eyeliners and one of the mascara. So that's on sale for $30. Let me, I have it in front of me. So the eyeliners are $17 each and the mascara is $19. So together they would have been what? 34 and another 19, which would have been $53 and I paid 30. So I got a blickety black eyeliner, the uh, blickety blue and another mascara. So I'm not even gonna open the mascara because got it right here that I can use um, but I will show you guys the blickety black and the blickety blue that's the name of them I'm not just making shit up <laughs> why do I have such a hard time opening these like for real this cannot just be me am I just weird getting irritated now because I was like oh I've got about half an hour I'll be fine spends 20 minutes opening a gosh darn eyeliner okay so I just want to show you guys there's the black and then the blue I'm really excited about this blue It's such a gorgeous blue color. I also may have ordered myself some makeup by Kesha Rose, and there's supposed to be some really beautiful liquid eyeliners in there, and I haven't opened that yet. It's sitting right there. <laughs> I'm waiting to open it on camera, and I was gonna open it with Brittany because she is such a Kesha fan, but I might have to open it without her. <laughs> All right, so now we're into the mystery box part of it. So we've got some Hank and Henry stickers. Let me. There's worms. Red and blue worms, actually. Or red and green worms. Red and blue. Like, I don't know my dang colors. So there's a mix of Hank and Henry items and Makeup Institute items. That's why I was telling you guys about that. All right, so the first item we have here is a pop socket. I'm not sure who this is. I'm gonna assume this is the founder of Hank and Henry, uh, which looks to be Francis Vasquez. No. Yeah. In honor of his grandmother, Francis Vasquez, for being the wisdom, okay. Henry Vasquez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was I was paraphrasing and giving you wrong information. So that's him. 
So I got another of the Blickety Blue in the eyeliner, which I'll put aside. There is a pair of Mannequin uh, Real Mink Lashes. I'm not gonna do these this morning. That I don't have time for this. But I will try these at some point. I'm gonna put those over there. So that was what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight items in here. If or seven if they don't count the pop socket. Which I don't know if they do or not. Okay. These look to be the same type of item. So these are there's two Hank and Henry lip aesthetic matte liquid lipsticks and there's a lip luster gloss. So let's open the matte liquid lipsticks. Ooh. This color's called Lucid. I've never had a lipstick from them, so. I was kind of hoping there'd be at least one of their um, brushes in here. Because I've heard great things. Oh, man. So this is a, a purple color. Look at how dark and beautiful that is. Oh, man. I love that. I'm actually a huge fan of purple lipstick on me. I think it looks really nice. I haven't wore it for a while. I haven't worn lipstick for a while. I I'm, have not been wearing lipstick very much. This one's called Gang Gang. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful brown. Okay, can you guys see how it looks like a bullet lipstick in there? Yeah, you can kind of see it at this angle. It's cool. It looks like it should sit like this and it looks like a bullet lipstick, but it's a liquid. It's, it's cool, the design is cool. I like it. Oh, this is taking me back to the 90s. It's a super dark brown, very grunge. I actually really like it. I know these are probably colors that don't sell well for them, but for me, I would actually wear these two colors. So then here's the lip luster gloss. Probably not to work, but like for a fun look. I don't know, I might wear that brown to work. Oh, again, it looks like a bullet lipstick. So beautiful. That was a very loud pop. Okay, you're not gonna be able to see this too well. But there is the gloss. It's gorgeous. It's got a lot of sparkly pigment to it. All right, these two items are from the Makeup Institute. I'm not sure what they are yet. Doesn't really say on the outside. Gives their color. I can't, can't get the box open. Oh, it's loose glitter. Not so sure about this. Oh, it does have a sifter though. So I'm not gonna, I'm actually not gonna open them like that. This one's called Sahara. So it's this beautiful gold glitter. I do have glitter glue, so I could try those, not today. <laughs> Cause again, going to work. Uh, this one is called Berries. Ooh. The glitter on, this glitter on the eye with this liquid lipstick. I might have to get into glitter a little more. All right, the final item is this Enchanted 24 color eyeshadow palette. Ooh. This is very colorful and fun. Let me clean off my hand. By the way, I can't tell you guys how many makeup wipes I've saved by getting that, those little rounds, these makeup rounds off of Amazon. I've saved so much makeup wipes. Like, yeah, I'm using one now because I still have some, but I can use two of those and that saves me from 
dirtying two of these and just throwing these away and I wash those. But I still have some, so I'm gonna use them when it's convenient. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and do like a couple swatches of colors that are speaking to me. Let's just look at this array of colors. These foils are so, so, so nice. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off real quick. I'm gonna prepare a base for my face and we'll come in and we'll do, we'll use the eyeliner, the mascara, one of the lips, maybe, maybe one of the lips, depending on how cool of an eyeshadow look I do. But I'll be right back. So I've got Glossier on for my base. Um, what was that concealer I tried today? NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and then Glossier powder to set everything and then I used <clears throat> the Too Faced Natural Face Palette and for my eyebrows I used the Brow Bar that, uh, what am I trying to say? The powder. So I'm wearing this sweater already today. This is what I'm wearing to work and there are some beautiful greens in here but I think they're a little too bright. So if I wanna wear that brown lipstick, which I kinda do, I think I'm gonna go for a kind of subtler eye look. So I'm gonna start with, say, t Tiara? It's, okay, can you guys? The writing on here is a little bit hard to see, but I think Tierra is what I'm gonna, uh, it's what I think this color is called. So it's this like orangey brown color in the pan especially. And on the eye it's a little more orange, which is fine. Browns and oranges I think look nice on me. And I'm just gonna do something fairly quick and maybe we can come back maybe another day I'll do something a little more dramatic but I gotta go to work today you know it's Monday Ugh. and it's the Monday after the holidays so like two weeks ago we had we worked two days we had Christmas and then we were supposed to be back for two days and I ended up getting sick and couldn't go to work but then like last week we worked Monday, Tuesday, we were off Wednesday, had to be back Thursday, Friday. It was just, I hated it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go into this uh, dark brown color called Charming for my eyelids. But that doesn't look bad. And then, I've got the eyeliner. So I think I'll go in with the eyeliner first, the blickety black, and do a small wing. I am gonna go back in, I'm gonna grab a brush and see if see how the brush works. I'm gonna go into this color hook right here. Put it on the brush and see how it lays down. too bad. I think for a work look for me it's fine. It's just a little bit of shimmer on there and it's nice. Okay. Again, we're just doing something super quick today. So I'm going to grab the Hank and Henry mascara. If you don't remember, it's got a regular oval shape on one side. I locked the cats out today. Sorry guys. I know some of y'all just watch these for the cats. <laughs> on the other end it has this super thin wand and for me it works perfect for my bottom lashes there we go and that's that's the eyes <laughs> let me pop on I'm gonna pop on this uh, pop it on pop pop it on pop 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 
this Gang Gang liquid lip. I kind of really like it. Me. Yeah, so there's the look I'm gonna go with. Kind of like that brown lip. When I first started wearing makeup, I always had like a super dark lip because I'm like, I'm a child of the 90s. Like, I graduated in 1999, so I went through that grunge phase and I wasn't allowed to wear makeup when I was a teenager, so I always wanted to. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. And I think it goes all right with this like dark green sweater that I'm wearing today and I'm wearing black jeans and I'm gonna put on some boots and we gonna look hecka fly. <laughs> uh, all right, that's the look for today. I will come back and do a dramatic look with this palette and I wanna use that blue eyeliner and that purple lipstick. We're just gonna rainbow my face up. <laughs> all right guys, I will see you in the next clip. Okay guys, we're back after work. The makeup held up. Um, <clears throat> I did take the, what am I trying to say? The lipstick. <laughs> I took the lipstick off around lunchtime because after I'd ate I had butthole mouth. You guys know what that is, right? It's when the color's still on the outside of your lips, but if you do that, <laughs> it's, it's not there. So. <clears throat> The weather is very rainy and weird today. So I thought I would come home. I'm gonna clean off my eyes, but I'm gonna leave the rest because most of the stuff I wanna try is eye makeup. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Show you guys how well these work. I don't know if I showed you. And then if I remember, because I suck at that, I will try to link these, but, so they're just like these reusable rounds my desk is a mess, always. So I just put some micellar water. I choose micellar water, you don't have to use micellar water, you could just probably use plain water. And I'm just gonna clean my eyes off. Can you do your makeup or clean your eyes without doing this? <laughs> if you can, you're a rock star. So you can see that got pretty dirty, but my eyes are clean. Obviously they're gonna be a little red right now because I just rubbed them down. I'm gonna use the same concealer I used this morning. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I'm gonna set my under eyes though. I'm gonna use the Juno, oh, that was loud. The Juno & Co. powder. I have this super light one from ColourPop. I'm gonna try that one. This is Fair 04. It's super light, way too light for me to use as a concealer. See how light that is? And then I'm just gonna pat it on my lid. Cause I want a really nice base for these super bright, beautiful colors. So I don't have a super plan, okay? I don't know, I don't, I don't have a plan. But I know that I wanna wear that purple lipstick with this look. And I know that we have that beautiful, be beautiful, a blue eyeliner that I wanna use. So we could do a blue look. We could go with this and this and this. But we also have these glitters that we can use. And I have glitter glue. Maybe we'll do one, a different look on both eyes. Let's. You know, we'll figure it out. Um, I think one eye I am definitely going to do this blue here, this one, and this. So let's get some brushes out. We're just playing in makeup. I just kind of want to show you guys this stuff and, and playing it. I'm going to go into Beast, which is this blue here. Let's do this eye. I don't want to meme -me up this eyeshadow, if you know what I'm referencing from the Drew Carey show. But I do want 
to get this blue in here and do something cool with it. So the matte going on is a little bit patchy and not as pigmented as I thought it would be, but I kind of knew that from the swatches, honestly. If I'm, if I'm being honest with myself and you guys. I thought this would be a more pretty blue, but it's, it's not terrible though. All right, so that's Beast. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down on my lid too. This is like a base. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go into Queen, which is like this dark bluey purple. And I'm gonna pat that on my lid. Oh yeah, it's definitely more purple going on, which is fine. I'm cool with that. You guys know I love a good purple. I think I'm going to take this NYX glitter glue. I'm going to grab a flat brush and I'm going to put a little bit on the brush. It just looks like a really thick concealer. I'm going to go ahead and run that all over the lid. I'm going to open up this glitter and it has a sifter on it. So I'm going to put some in the lid here. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead, get some of the glitter on my brush. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. This glitter's insane. Holy Moses, hold on. I wanna show you guys after I've got it all on there, but it's insane. The problem for me with whoop, something like this <clears throat> is I have very hooded eyes and it's gonna transfer but look at how gorgeous that is Wow okay I'm loving that you can barely see it when I'm just like looking at you guys but it's so pretty <coughs> but now I feel like I have to do something cool up top so I'm gonna go into snow which is this shimmery white. I'm gonna go over that blue. Not a makeup artist at all. So <laughs> we're just playing, okay? I didn't say this was gonna look awesome. We're just experimenting. It's not even terrible though. Like, I don't actually hate it. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a color and pop it down on my bottom lash line. What would look super cool down there? We've got this pop of purple. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. We're going to take Dragonfly, which is this neon green. And we're going to put that on my bottom lash line. I'm living my dragon dreams right now. <laughs> I don't actually hate it, though. I do want... Okay. Call me crazy. But I'm going to kind of make a wing with the green. Probably actually would have even been better if my brush was wet. This is obviously not something you're gonna wear to work. You're not gonna wear this every day. And I'm not saying you should wear it at all. <laughs> I just think it looks super cool and chill. And since we kind of changed it up, 
I think I'm gonna go into E4, which is this green here. And this is probably gonna t turn so muddy. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the color up top. We had blue up there. This is turning very uh, chameleon or peacocky. Peacocky. <laughs> I'm a child. It's kind of cool, but it's not. <laughs> let's try. Let's try some liner. Let's just go with the black for now. And I'm just going to go there. And then I'm going to pop on mascara. And then we'll do something cool on the other eye too. Again, definitely not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm probably just like most of you. Like, makeup is just fun. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff with makeup. Alright, so there's eye one. Got this greeny purple look. It's crazy. I realize that. <laughs> I absolutely do. But I'm kind of living for it. It's kind of fun. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of it. I got a couple pictures of it. Now we can do something different on this eye. Because that's fun. That's what makeup's about. Having fun. Okay, I really want to use that blue eyeliner. So, I think I might do, like, orange and then have the blue and it'll be like, I don't know, fun. So this color is Poison. It's a beautiful caution orange. Oh Lord. Candy, what are you doing with your life? Having fun. I'm gonna go pretty, pretty high up here. I think I'm also gonna flat brush that poison all over my lid. It looks like Cheeto dust, not gonna lie. <laughs> looks like I've got Cheeto dust all over me. Which, you know, again, not uncommon. Cheetos are really good. Okay. So I've just got that above my orbital bone, on my, I've got it everywhere, okay? <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the blue and I'm going to run it along my la along my lid, lash, lid, lash, lash, lid. I'm going to attempt to do like a pretty dramatic wing. It's such a dark blue that you can barely tell that it's blue, which is kind of nice. It just gives like a little bit of like different dimension. <laughs> Do you guys ever run liquid liner on your bottom lash line? Let's try that. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be good for me. I have so many like fine lines down there that I feel like it's just gonna spider out. that wing is so dramatic so dramatic I'm gonna add some glitter on this side so I'm gonna go into unicorn which is this orange glitter and look what we just threw together in like what like 10 minutes like this I look took less than five I actually like the dramatic wing too sorry <laughs> dumb I don't know you guys um okay so here's my review then oh wait wait wait, wait. we forgot the lipstick we forgot the purple lipstick. It's gonna draw, put everything together. It's just gonna all come together so beautifully. 
I will say their lipstick is a little dry for me. It's almost like a bluish purple. But with that eye look, that would be super fun. This one, not even bad. <laughs> like, look, makeup is subjective and I subject myself to a lot of things <laughs> for the sake of fun. Okay, so let's do the review. For me, the lipsticks are a little dry going on. Um, they're kind of hard to work with. I don't feel like I get a lot on the applicator and I have to keep dipping back in and it's a little dry going on, if that makes sense. It's not super drying on the lips, which is nice. I barely remembered that I had it on, except when I was drinking my coffee, there was some transfer onto my white cup. But I didn't feel like it was getting all over my teeth or anything. <coughs> Sorry, so I do like these. You guys already know I love the mascara. I love the eyeliner. I think that blue is such a beautiful color. Just a little bit of that like blue tint in with it because it's so dark that you barely notice, but it's super beautiful. Um, the eyeshadow palette from Makeup Institute, I like it. I'm going to have to work with it some more. I don't feel like, again, it's one of those palettes that's like, can I do an entire look out of, like, multiple looks out of this? Sure. If I want to be a little bit bright. And I'm okay with that. I mean, it's called Enchanted. It's, it's crazy cool colors. So I'm going to put that right away. Um, what else did we have? Oh, here is the glitter glue that I used. It was NYX uh, Glitter Primer. Uh, that's where we were going. These loose... Um, <laughs> loose glitters. I wish I had an excuse for being this stupid. Like, I wish I was high or something. Definitely not. It's just me. This, this is my brain after I work nine hours. It's stupid. <laughs> but, um, hello? Something moved. Um, I think the glitters will be really pretty, but... They're already, it's already all over my face, like, right here. See, it's already all over my cheeks. So, that kind of sucks, but this is fun. I, I had fun, like, playing with this makeup and showing it to you guys. Um, I look forward to doing some more makeup stuff in 2020. 2020. Can you guys believe it's 2020? Like, is anyone else weirded out by this? Like, Kids that were born when I graduated high school can drink now. I kind of hate it. <laughs> anyway, that is my review of Hank and Henry. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye!